Hey everybody, this is Jeremy at Local Motors. Uh, this is racer number two, update number three. Uh, I'm working on getting the fuse box and the starter reason mounted. Uh, we're gonna be able to use a stock Harley hole right there. Um, and these two tabs mount this little uh, four fuse fuse box on it. Um, other things that have changed since I last talked about it, um, there was a lip on this stock Harley case that came up for when you have suspension travel, the belt has to have room to go up there. And in this case, since it's a rigid, there's no need for that anymore. So just kind of cut and grind back to a more stylish line. Um, other things that I've worked on is the brake caliper. On the original rendering, uh, he had it in between here, and uh, I wanted to try and execute that. That took took a lot of work to do it, but it actually is going to end up working quite well. Uh, I had to mill down the face of these bolt bosses and actually switch the bolts from the stock Harley bolts to a. Uh, button head Allen in order to, for space. And I also had to mill down the uh, Harley Davidson emblem plate area. You can see I've started to uh, line up some of the brake fittings. Uh, we'll end up having little stanchions later so you don't have to zip tie around the whole tube. I also worked on uh, fuse, or the battery's gonna end up right here. And this is kind of the beginnings of the bottom of the tray. Kind of a cool little piece that matches the battery. Um, and then the other thing that I've worked on was the exhaust jigs. So you, you saw in the last video that they were on and mocked up. And while they were still mocked up and you no know, weld warping, I wanted to make a nice jig so we can repeat this over and over. You can see there's kind of a, a little locking pin piece of tube that uh, locks the flange in there and then you bolt the flange to it and then uh, basically lay all your tubes in there and start tacking it up and you can get to a lot of it because of the way I uh, turn the tube up on its side. You kind of see you have more room to get around the welds. So that's where we're at.